Hello, this is just a brief discussion. Hopefully, <laughs> I can go at length about things about um, uh, the third temple and animal sacrifices and things like that. Um, I've done some research on this, and um, what I found was basically it looks like there will be a third temple uh, because obviously, unless that temple is rebuilt there could not possibly be a daily sacrifice taken away and an abomination set up in the temple and then as far as animal sacrifices go go on um, I believe it's possible that there's going to be animal sacrifices however I am really hesitant to think that that is going to be uh, in the next dispensation which is like the millennium dispensation I, I have my doubts uh, that there those are animal sacrifices that are ordained by God okay and I think what is causing some of the confusion is the interpretation of Ezekiel 39 to 45 roughly I think or the end of Ezekiel where it discusses this uh, temple and then in Revelation it also discusses a temple and what might be going on is the temple that's discussed in uh, Ezekiel 39 uh, through 40, whatever, 48, uh, is the second temple and describing it being rebuilt. And that measuring of the temple signifies that the temple is going to be rebuilt in prophecy. And that the measuring of the temple in Revelation signifies it will be built yet again. And that is also another clue that the temple was actually destroyed uh, before uh, Revelation was written. Okay, but I don't know if that's, I don't take a stance on that. But uh, there's confusion about that. Uh, now, just because I don't necessarily believe Ezekiel 39 through 48 is about the third temple, doesn't mean that there will not be animal sacrifices in there and apparently this temple is going to be important uh, and that is the part that is difficult for me to understand because um, if you read Hebrews and various parts of the Bible all those things uh, in the Old Testament are types and shadows of things to come but those things have came already I believe because uh, in Hebrews is talking about it and other parts of the Bible talk about that Jesus fulfilled the law and so that those things have been completed already um, so it, it gets tricky it's very tricky and I'm still looking into it you know I don't know everything <laughs> that's good to know that I don't know everything you know I'm not professing to know everything I don't have all the secrets and everything I'm not trying to sell a book I'm just trying to tell people that they need to take a second look at what they believe about the rapture and about dispensationalism, what what kind of dispensations are going to be out there and what you know how to rightly divide the Bible and things like that. But um, so I don't want to run too long, keep this under five minutes. I've got a minute and a half or so. Uh, so um, basically I, I don't know why there's going to be another temple and it poses a this is no small problem to my eschatology it almost pushes me to preterist type partial preterist type eschatology because there's so many things that suggest that uh, that this, some of these things may have been fulfilled in AD 70 that it boggles my mind I mean I mean uh, you know um, for the longest time, I believe Daniel 9 was 70 contiguous weeks, and I haven't really abandoned that view yet. Yet I've also concluded that the abomination, to have, or not concluded, but I pretty strongly believe that the abomination is the abomination that brings forth desolation, and the daily sacrifice being taken away happens in Daniel 9. And like I just now said about types and shadows of things that come, those things have been fulfilled. And so... Um, uh, that poses a problem, but I do believe there will be a, a third millennial temple. Uh, what goes on in the temple is another matter, and there also will be other things that may reflect Old Testament type of uh, 
things because it's going to be another dispensation. It's going to be a different time. You know, the Israel is going to be back, and Jesus is going to be the king again. So it's going to be uh, interesting. You know, uh, be ready to be surprised when Jesus comes about what you've read and things like that. And it causes me grief and concern. I want to know these things because um, uh, this is important. You know, we might be heading in these times and we need to know what's going on. And so I'm reading these and trying to uh, praying about it and trying to discern these things and uh, and it's a, it's like a spiritual battle because it, there's different influences you know there's different things that come in and I have to really have a level level head about it and uh, different influences and people saying different things but uh, uh, but um, I just have absolutely no reason to believe that the rapture happens after before the tribulation or before that seven year period of time and I don't have much reason to believe that the tribulation lasts seven years although I'm open for that possibility okay but that that's not what this is about I'm just kind of repeating myself so just to make the record stay, stay straight I'm not denying that there's a third temple someone told me that I denied it and I went back and watched this video and I saw myself kind of denying it and I went oh whoops no, where did I say that? <laughs> I never said that there was not going to be a third temple. I just, I just blew it and made it look like I didn't. But actually, what I was saying was that they have this whole story that goes this and that, and, that. They have, and the third temple's built by the Antichrist, and they make a deal with the Israelites and all that. And that I don't see in Scripture. That's what I was trying to say. That covenant that he confirms with the Israelites and all that—that that is made up. I don't see that in the Scripture. Uh, God, if there's going to be a third temple, it, the one that's that in Revelation is ordained by God, not by the Antichrist. That's one point i got to make. The second thing is, if there is a third temple that's built by the Israelites, it may not be the one in Revelation that God ordained, but that seems strange, too, because it's going to be trodden under the foot by the Gentiles. So uh, uh, that leaves a lot of, you know, a lot of confusion in there. Uh, I'll have to think about it. If you have any insights on that, let me know. How is it that uh, God can ordain a third temple uh, unless the millennium has already begun, unless Jesus has come already? And that would be very strange because that would be a pre-trib return of Christ with no second coming belief, which is really weird. Or a partial preterist type of thing. So those things are really scary. I don't know what to think. You know, I'm really searching for answers. I mean, just think about that. Third temple being built. Why do we need a temple? And then some people spiritualize and say it's about our body. And I have a hard problem with that too because uh, how are you Jesus said to watch for this sign. You know, when you see the abomination, well, what what is that sign? And then people say, well, the sign is that people are claiming to be God or something like that. I don't, that's been going on for a long time, so that's hard to, hard to really reconcile. So I'm pretty much literal first in my interpretation until I have a good reason to believe otherwise, you know. But I, I know this sounds a lot like head knowledge, but it is complicated, you know. And so I just wanted to straighten out that one thing.